We're going to talk about the Canine Good Citizen Award, CGC, on their pedigree is the abbreviations they, they will have if they uh, achieve this award. Uh, very good award to have. Uh, it's a phenomenal fee at your local kennel club. You and your canine you can go as a handler canine team and uh, try to uh, pass these 10 tests and achieve this award. Um, then you send a small fee up to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, and you, in a couple weeks you'll receive this award in the mail. There are four responsibilities to the owner the Canine Good Citizen Award. It's number one, the health care of the canine, making sure it gets to the veterinarian, gets regular checkups and exams, making sure the dog gets a proper diet, proper nutrition, always has clean water, gets exercise, and regular grooming. Number two, it's responsible for your dog's safety. That means you make sure your dog doesn't run loose, make sure he's on a leash, and make sure he has a form of identification, collar tag, tattoo, or microchip ID. Number three, it's responsible that your dog does not infringe on the rights of others. It's making sure you pick up after your dog in your neighborhood and out in public places. Making sure your dog doesn't run loose neighborhood bothering other neighbors and number four responsible for your dog's overall quality of life and that means that uh, every dog it's beneficial that every dog gets some training some basic training and that you'll have uh, time caring for that dog and that you'll spend regular time giving it attention and love and lots of play time there are ten training tests that your canine must pass get the CJC award. Number one, accepting a friendly stranger. So the evaluator will walk up to you, shake your hand, stop touching the dog. Number two, is sitting politely for petting. The evaluator will pet your dog. The dog must stay calm. Number three, appearance and grooming. The evaluator will check your dog's ears, examine his front paws, brush him lightly. Number four, out for a walk, heel with your dog, left turn, right turn, about turn, and stop. Number five, reaction to a crowd. Walk through a crowd of dogs and people. The dog must not jump up on anyone. Number six, sitting down on command and staying in place. Number seven, coming when called. After a few minutes stay, Number eight, reaction to another dog. That means you walk past another dog and handler and you greet them, shake their hand, exchange pleasantries. The dog must remain calm, show no aggression. Reaction to distractions. The evaluator is going to make a loud noise, a banging noise. And your dog must not panic or show any aggression. And number ten, supervised separation. This means that you'll uh, be out of sight. Your dog cannot see you. You're staying with the evaluator for three minutes. Your dog must uh, remain calm. So I want to congratulate Chief. Last month on my birthday, May 3rd, passed this test and received his Canine Good Citizen Award. Did an outstanding job at the Kennel Club here in Jacksonville. Congratulations, Chief. You did excellent. Good job, big guy. Chief Rickson Douglas here.